Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit since I did a cheeky little Q&A, but I figured let's make it a festive edition. I kind of want to bake some festive cookies because, one second. Yesterday I went shopping to our local garden center and picked up these two little guys to make some Christmas cookies because I've never really done this before, like fully themed. And I have some sprinkles, it's gonna be a fun time. We're doing sugar cookies, which again, I've never made. So it could go wrong, but we're gonna have a fun time while we're doing it and answer some of your questions. I don't know how good I'm gonna be at multitasking. So let's answer a couple before we get into it. Someone said the best Starbucks you've tried since the suggestion box. So last week I put up, I think, asking for new ideas because I literally just get the same iced coconut latte with caramel every single time. And when I tell you the iced white mocha changed my life do it don't hesitate go today my free promo for starbucks not that they need it someone asked how's your rewatch of every disney film going don't think i've watched one since like august because i got to the fox and the hound that's my next one and i just don't remember liking that film so i've kind of been putting it off and also now it's like christmas season there's so many christmas films out that i would rather watch than that and it's just this awkward period where it's all like the animal films and they're not my favorite disney ones at all so yeah i'll go back to that maybe in january when we're still in lockdown oh and then someone asked favorite christmas tradition so many but it has to be that december 1st me and my sister always watch the santa claus with tim allen the king of christmas every single year without fail even last year we went together and we watched it over facetime so that's the first few questions but now let's get into maybe a new christmas tradition making cookies so the first thing is butter 110 grams butter really grosses me out guys i i just don't want to eat that i don't know so let's see it's exactly 110 grams. What? What did I just do? It's off to a good start. I mean, there's nowhere to go but down from here. 150 grams of sugar. Also, why are there so many different types of sugar? I never know which one I'm supposed to use. I'm actually just putting in the kind that we use for tea. That's a lot of sugar. Someone asked how I decided what to do after uni, honestly. I didn't have a clue. I knew I wanted to write because writing is literally what I wanted to do since I was like five years old. But then I got to uni and realized I didn't want to do creative writing, which was very helpful considering I chose a degree which was English with creative writing. But you know, again, we move. So I left and I was supposed to do an internship at this one place and then it fell through, which was very convenient. But they recommended me to another place, which I got an internship at, which ended up being longer. They offered me the full-time job, but I just knew I wanted to do something in writing. I just didn't know what. And luckily for me with writing, there's so many different things you can go into. I now currently work for Harrods, working on their website as a copywriter, which I really like a lot. But I would say don't go into it with like too clear an idea of what you want to do because your first job is not going to be your favorite job like you're going to have to do things that you don't like as much because if you peak when you're like 21 where do you go after that like you have to kind of pay your due start at the bottom work your way up as long as you're going into like the kind of field that you want to eventually be in that's fine but don't be too stressed about having the dream job because people get to their 30s and don't have the dream job so like don't worry about not having it when you're like 21 22 it's fine you are doing fine also we're in a pandemic so let's just be realistic here yeah. with things like baking soda i always think like how much can one teaspoon really do like i'm gonna put it in because it's in the recipe but what's that even doing this is the part i didn't want to do anything to do with tools kind of freaks me out i thought it would just move but it's literally not even plugged in someone said would you ever like to live in another country Someone said, would you ever like to live in another country? So growing up, I always was like, I'm gonna live in America when I grow up. The prize title I got at the end of high school was the most likely to live abroad or like move abroad. And I thought I was gonna move to California after I finished university and work there. But then I fell in love with London, firstly moving there. And then also I worked in Disney World for two summers. And I kind of got that taste of living abroad, even though obviously I was around people in my age and from the same country as me, I got that little taste of it i still wouldn't rule out doing maybe like a year somewhere else say i worked for a company and they were like we're setting up a new branch somewhere else i would definitely be up for that but in terms of like completely moving abroad no i love my family i love london and i just i don't know i just feel like there would really need to be something to pull me there especially after this year i've seen how much i rely on my family and friends and i don't want to be away from them for forever okay wish me luck
It literally looks like butter pebbles. This isn't going well, um, I'll, I'll be back. Okay, I genuinely have just Googled what is creaming butter and sugar together, and mine does not look remotely like the picture. We have mine, which kind of looks like scrambled eggs, and, and then we have this one, which looks all light and fluffy. So I feel like I should have waited for the butter to be soft. Um, I don't know. going interestingly. First international trip you'd like to take after COVID is over. So obviously me and my best friend Ruth were supposed to go to California and then Hawaii and I would love to make that trip happen but I also don't know how realistic it is. Like in my mind the first place I am going to go after this is all over is going to be a Disney park because I need to be enveloped back into that magical comforting fold. I feel like I should answer something more inventive than that but genuinely I just want to go to Disney World. I know it's not going to be the same anymore because so many amazing cast members have left, but I just, I miss it so much. So one of our favourite plays in London, it was the Adelphi Theatre, to see Waitress and smell that pie. Obviously now it's not going to be Waitress anymore, so I will say probably Covent Garden. I still love it. It's where the theatres are, it's where my Chloe is, it's where me and my friends always meet before we're going to go to the theatre or to go to a restaurant for food. Like, I have so many amazing memories there, so it's probably my favourite place, even though it's super, super touristy. You know what, I've had enough of the butter palava. Something, so I'm just gonna put the dry in with the wet and hope for the best. Everyone at home who's a good baker is cringing right now. If it fails, I can just go to Starbucks and get something nice to eat instead. So I've mixed it by hand, so I'm gonna turn this off because I don't want to have to turn off with messy hands. Actually, one more question. One more question before we go. Scone or scone? That's my answer to that question. <laughs> if you're British, you know what I mean. Okay, even though I'm using butter, I'm gonna, they said to add like your milk of choice. I'm gonna go through oat milk. Which leads into one of the questions someone asked, would you ever go fully vegan? So I currently eat 90% vegan. Like I have been vegetarian for five and a half, almost six years, oh my goodness. And then I've developed an intolerance to egg, so I don't eat that. So pretty much the only thing I eat that's not vegan is dairy. I have milk basically every day, I will say. And I do like ice cream, but I always opt for vegan choices where possible. Obviously when I go out and there are vegan cakes available, I'm gonna have those because the non-vegan ones will have egg in. I am planning to do veganuary this January because I'm kind of intrigued to see if I can do it. I feel like it won't be too hard because I already eat basically vegan, but I definitely am more likely to go vegan than ever eat meat again. I'm continuing to kind of like make the swaps where they are available. I just feel like I need to try a bit more experimenting with milks because my big thing is porridge. Um, I really love porridge in the mornings and I haven't found a milk yet that works in porridge. So that's kind of the thing that's been holding me back. But who knows, maybe veganuary will be the turning point. But I can't see that I'll ever be fully vegan because like going to a Disney park, eating the treats is such a big part of it. And I can't imagine going and not being able to have all of that. But at the same time, that's quite a selfish reason. I don't know, maybe eventually, but I don't think it's gonna happen like super soon. I'm kind of content with what I'm doing right now, kind of doing my best within reason and working towards it, but it's not like the eventual aim is veganism. I'm not like thinking, oh, by this time I'll be vegan. It's just kind of like continuing to eat more vegan stuff and then I won't need the non-vegan things as much. So after that palab, we do seem to have a dough, which, I mean, we have a dough, which, you know, let's hope it rolls. I'm gonna put flour our surface because that's what we do in the films and the Betty Crockers and all of that stuff. We have two rolling pins. Um, feeling confident about this one. Okay, it's cracking a little bit, but it could be a lot worse. Oh, you can't really see what I'm doing. You're literally balancing on cake tins right now. There we go, it's like an angle. No, it's not, is it? You still can't see anything. Um, you're just gonna have to believe me. Okay, what was the next question that I can answer while I attempt to roll out? It's all a bit chaotic in here. Which Disney prince would you marry? They've all got their flaws, but <sighs> Kristoff, I mean, my love is not fragile. Do I need to say anything else? Okay, we're gonna go for the first. Gingy, wish me luck. I'm not sure this is the right technique. Please, please, please. Look at him. We have a gingerbread man. Okay, well, no, we have a gingerbread man shaped cookie. Why is it blue? Why is everything not going well for me today? I'm just gonna do one star while we're here and then I'll turn the camera off because I think the pressure is getting to me and I'm not doing as good a job as I could do if I was not being watched. How do they do this on Bake Off? I have so much respect. I don't think this is the right technique to just take everything away, but 
we have a snowflake. We've come to the last few. Like we've rolled out the dough, we've cut, we've rolled out, we've cut. And the last few are looking the best. Like I can just pick them up, they're ready to go. We're popping them on the tray. I'm feeling more optimistic than I ever have in the last hour. So that's good. If someone could tell me how the recipe apparently yields 30 and we ended up with six, that would be great. Oh, he's not looking good, is he? Oh no, oh no. These ones are gonna be the winners. They're gonna be the star of the show. They're gonna be head girl. These ones are just gonna be like I was at school, kind of forgotten, just there. Fine, but not anything incredible. Right, actually no, let's talk to our foods. You're gonna be great, I love you so much. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Okay, clearing up is done, so we have time for a few more questions. Did you date anyone during the DCP? Absolutely not. Um, I mainly just hung out with other girls who were on the program and had fun and made memories and best friends for life. And also, I don't know how to say this without sounding rude, but like there's no exactly much choice um available in terms of guys who were interested in girls and then also like date of four. I, i'm just gonna move on what's your favorite thing from both of your recent collections so if you didn't know i released kind of two collections recently one was a clothing collection collaborating with steamboat style which is a bunch of like christmas disney kind of pieces and then one was a disney prince collection collaborating with the lovely rachel who designed my channel art so I think my favorite from the Christmas clothing collection is my Happy Merry Holly Jolly sweatshirt. It's all I wear, ask anyone in my family and they will confirm that. I'm wearing this today to be, you know, obnoxiously festive, but I wear that all the time and I love it so much. I also love the beanies. I mean, I love it all because I obviously released it and created it, but yeah, seeing other people wearing it is just the coolest thing. And then from my Prince collection, I actually love the snacks one because it's the first one we made. I love Disney snacks and it kind of like brings the whole collection together, but it was at least favorite one. So it's a bit strange, but I love all three prints equally. They are my children. I will not pick favorites because they are all amazing and you should check them out at my Etsy shop down below. Are you enjoying working from home? Um, okay, so I had to actually go into the studio for like three days last month and it was kind of tiring to get up and have an alarm and commute, but I loved it. I so missed that sense of normalcy of having a routine and a purpose, a reason to wake up in the morning. Well, not to wake up, but like to get ready, to get dressed, to be out in the world and not just at home in this leggings, no makeup absolute mess so i really really miss that i do obviously like the working from home side that i've saved loads of money and some days you don't want to get ready so that's great but i miss my friends routine regular life just feeling like i have a purpose i'm very grateful i've got to work this whole time don't get me wrong like i've been so blessed that my job has allowed me to work from home and be safe and obviously i'm so grateful to all the key workers that continue to work and go out in person but i really really miss being in the studio. How tall are you? I can never tell in your videos. I'm like 5'7", just a little bit over. My sister is 5'8", and I'm shorter than her, but I feel like I'm taller than 5'7", so like 5'7"-ish. And then someone said, do you know your Enneagram? I am a seven. I feel like you can probably tell from the way I am. Sevens are always likened to being like Olaf and Ariel, and they're very excitable and hyped about life and just raring to go and yeah, I can definitely see that I relate to that. We are referred to as the eternal children of the world because we always approach things with a childlike quality and optimism, which I can definitely see. I do have my more serious side. I'm not just like a complete bubble head running around like life is beautiful and amazing, but yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That 10 minutes went by so fast. Oh, okay. They're very soft, but I feel like they're gonna harden up a lot. Oh, okay. A couple of them are like kind of fat gingerbread men, but we don't judge here. We don't discriminate based on color, gender, size, anything. You can be who you wanna be. Okay, as you can see, we have our cookies. Some of them are better than others. Some of them didn't make it, but we're here. Um, Let's just get ahead with the decorating. Chocolate is the way to anyone's heart. Oh yeah, I'm feeling confident. I'm diving straight in. <laughs> with this one yes chocolate just makes everything better do i go all the way to the edges or just like a nice circle in the middle hmm. i hope people find this kind of soothing because i do bringing me a lot of joy right now and now we go for a little sprinkle oh that is not bad considering at the start of this i was googling how to cream butter and sugar we've now got a little cookie oh that makes me so happy 
me. Someone said watch your favorite Christmas Eve tradition and that is watching The Polar Express with Alice having a hot chocolate because you can't watch that film and not have a hot chocolate during the ha, ha, oh we got it song. And what's gonna be the final question before I just get on with decorating? Oh, if you were a candy cane, what flavor would you be? I hate peppermint, so definitely not that. I would wanna be chocolate and vanilla. Like, it can look cute and be red and white, but people go in, they're thinking of having that sharp, like, oh, it's gonna be a bit. And then they realize it's a lovely, sweet thing. And is that really picking myself up? I'm gonna continue with the Christmas cookie baking and I'll see you soon. <laughs> have the finished product and I'm pretty pleased with how it's all turned out. I put a couple on of course my cute little shop Disney plate but considering how it's going at the start I feel like I should be very happy with this result. Oh, Alice is just sitting there now because she's home. I'm having a great. We should take some aesthetic Christmas photos. So here are my cookies. If you liked this video give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more Christmas content to come because there's going to be a plenty. We're going to get our Christmas tree next week. I'm very excited. Comment down below your favourite Christmas tradition and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! I haven't even done a taste test. I just realised there's no way I can finish this video without doing a taste test, so we absolutely have to give one of these little guys a try. Gingy. Gingy. Clearly the decorations are not completely set, so I should probably eat this over a plate. Oh god, it's all going wrong. Why do I try and do this multitasking thing? That is a solid cookie, if I do say so myself. Cheers!